This is called? This is just a lemon cream or lime cream in this case. Oh, okay. Yeah. I found that the limes were beautiful, so instead of getting lemon, I used I bought the limes. It's nice to get a little green, a little different color. Absolutely. I'm gonna get one te teaspoon of the lime zest, so add some fresh mint too that I'm gonna use to garnish after. How much fresh mint do you use? Um, well, I'm just gonna use one sprig over each little glass. You know, okay. Just to give a little like garnish. You know, garnish and, and looks pretty. And you know that it's mm. fresh. Fresh mint and lemon always seems to go together. So I'm just gonna take the egg yolks here. Because we need two, but these it says two large and these look a little small. Those are small. so small, yeah. So I'm gonna use a three. Okay. What did you do here? You I didn't see it. You oh, were just, squeezing I the lime? I squeezed some lime. Juice. Okay. Lime, lime, yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm putting it in this pan because we're actually going to cook this. Just to um, make it turn into um, like custard, like a, a cream. Oh, like, like a that. cream? I don't put type of thing, yeah. On and what heat? Low, medium, because you want to cook the eggs and make them smooth without curdling them. You know what I mean? Okay, and you have to be like, very careful with that. You don't want scrambled eggs. Right, mm -hmm. which could easily turn into if mm -hmm. you forget about it. This is where I'm not going to measure, and I have about a cup of sugar here. So okay. I'm going to whisk them together. I'm going to add lemon juice. How much so is I'm that say approximately? This is, this is about um, a half a cup. A half a cup. I'm yeah, not going like to use that. that. I'm going to use only a quarter of a cup because you know it's very strong. Yes, okay. Do you serve it chilled, warm, yes, cold, it's chilled? Be chilled? Okay. Yeah. Add a little bit more. Okay, there. Did I write the measurements <laughs> of the butter down? I didn't. It, did great. you not? You didn't? No, I did. Oh. <laughs> Two tablespoons of butter. That's about one. We could just throw in a whole bunch of yeah. stuff. Yeah, just okay. add butter. I think I sound like Paula Dean. You're right. <laughs> I like southern cooking too. And I've never gotten, never understood what the fascination was with chicken, fried chicken and waffles. We went over to Chicago this past year and there's a restaurant called Table 52. And actually the chef, his specialty was, is Southern cooking. And we just told the waiter, we're so glad to be here. Just you bring us out. Whatever you what want. What you think is the best on the menu. And don't be shy. Well, he wasn't. Really? And we had an experience. It was so good. What really was that? What was the waffle and it fried chicken? It was just a regular experience. waffle, but the fried chicken, and it was just sweet and savory at the same time. It so it was so different delicious. from the one yeah. you had in New York. And then there was syrup on the side, too. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> There's no way I'm putting syrup on my fried chicken. Right. Well. You did. And you loved it? Yes. Okay, I want to add this in another little bowl. So I can take this and let it cool. Do you put it in the refrigerator? Yeah, I'm going to try to Two. speed it up. If you were to use any other fruit, would you still, would you always do it chilled? Yeah, you could use this and you could put it over like a sponge cake. Oh, and okay. And say yeah, you yeah, did yeah. Um, make a sauce, a reduction from mango or berries or something like that. You could reserve some of that sauce and heat that up over the cold, put a little oh, ice cream on the side. Yeah. Now you have a differences of textures, yeah, layers, temperatures, yeah, yeah. and it's really That's pretty yummy. Good. Yeah. And if you want to, you could add like liquor, you know, depending on your guests or who you're making it for. Right. You could add like in this lemoncello. Lemoncello. Uh, just a lemon curd. This is just a basic okay. lemon curd right, right now. And then I'm going to incorporate this into whipped cream. Okay. Oh. You know, I just went with a real simple. I like um, this whole thing though. It's easy to make yeah. and most people I'm so sure would like Usually when it. you cook it, it's cook it until like it coats a spoon and you can see it. Okay. That's it. That's when you know it's done. Okay. Oh, here, I'm going to try. Is sure. The right measurement of lemon. Mm. All right. So okay. I'm just going to whip some cream up. That's all. Okay. So you make your own homemade whipped cream? Mm -hmm. There you go. And so I'm going to add this. And the one trick that's really important, this is supposed to be about a half a cup. I made it about a cup. Okay. Is that you um, keep your heavy cream cold. Just okay. Have my bag of baking stuff. I'm going to use a little drizzle of confectionery sugar just to sweeten it up a little bit. Okay. And I'm not using granulated sugar because this just dissolves so much quicker. And I'm just using a little bit just to take a little, little sweet. Okay. Because it really isn't a sweet, sweet dessert. It's not supposed to be it's sweet. It's not supposed to be too sweet. The cookies are a little sweet, so it's really supposed to be a fresh Those dessert. cookies have a, like a lot of sugar in them? Yeah, here, taste one. Okay. This is great. Thank you. <laughs> 
I came hungry and I'm leaving full. That was the plan, right? It's gonna be a little noisy, but that's all we do. That's all you do. Actually, there's deeper hole. It's gonna whip it. Okay. That's it, and it's gonna make the peaks on its own. And the faster, the better. Um, Let me stand back. Yeah, do that. <laughs> These are good. Yeah, right? It's a nice flavor too. Mhm. Mm good texture. Yeah. I could see how they would work well right. together. Perfect. This I should definitely taste to make sure it's oh, yeah. right. Dun, dun. Mm. I'm gonna just leave with this bowl. Nice to go. meet you. See you later. Sure, no problem. Mmm. <laughs> okay, you ready yeah. with this? I'm just gonna crush a few of them in here. This is fun. That's all. I'll just stick them in this and I'm gonna use Did you ever use that's what I was gonna ask? Yeah, mortar for the drinks. Pestle, uh, yeah. What the, what is it the called? Mortar and pestle. The mortar and not, I don't know. Yeah. This is the pestle and this is the mortar. I don't know which one. They do switch. that with the also the mint and the Oh yeah, for mojito. For the mojito, I thank love you. That. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually used for um, garlic, crushing garlic and spices a lot of times. Are you going to mix this in with this? No, I'm actually going to put some on, layer it. Oh, so, it so cute. You know? I love it. Yeah. I'm just going to layer these on the bottom. So there's a crunch <laughs> down in there. I'm going to do a little, I'm going to oh, put a great. little bit That's of this. Oh, great. That's fun to do. Yeah. And, and you can get that. I well, you can buy that at a restaurant, like one of the you restaurants. You can get these at a restaurant too. You get them at Party City. It's just a pastry you bag, can? and you can yeah. buy these little tips everywhere. They're fun for icing. Yeah, and I okay. have all these little things because I like little to gadgets. make it look pretty, even hors d'oeuvres. I'll put like a cream cheese mix or a mascarpone mix with other things in there, like spiced oh. up, and then just put this on the top of a cracker. And Good it idea. looks pretty. Yeah, too. it does like look little pretty. canapes or something like and that. And it doesn't even take that. I mean, it takes a little extra time, but yeah. not. I'm just gonna spoon this in here so I have a little bit of a topping because I'm not gonna take it all away. Make sure those sides don't go to waste. Yeah, yeah. I know. Seriously, it's very important. <laughs> oh, you're right, it is pretty good. <laughs> it is good, it is good, right? Mm -hmm. I know. Not bad. Okay. okay, I'm just gonna take this one and incorporate it into here. Looking good. Oh, I first. see, okay. Not a lot of time so it doesn't I don't want to like collapse the whipped cream completely. Do you show you show both colors, or you mix it till it's well, like no, a pale or yellow? No, I'm gonna mix it till it's a pale yellow. Okay. And then <clears throat> when you're mixing in whipped cream, you usually fold it. It looks fluffy and yum, mm. yummy. And it just looks like springtime, doesn't it? Yeah, it really is. It's very pretty. And so the intensity of that lemon now is gonna be a little bit less. Okay because we mixed this in, so we're like kind of deleting it, diluting it a little bit. Right. But it's still just as fresh and a little bit more creamy. I'm excited now. to taste it. Okay, so okay. that's done. So what do we do? We're gonna now spoon gonna it in? I'm gonna spoon this into this because I wanna make sure it stays neat. And you don't even have to use this, but I'm using it because I don't wanna get it all over the side of the glass. I want to make sure that it stays sure. neat. Sure. If it was a big martini glass and you had a little scooper, then yeah, you might. Yeah, then it would be fine. Okay. I'll use, um, in that case, maybe an ice cream scooper. Got it. You know? Yeah, that would look nice too. Okay, so it's dripping out, so. Okay. It's all just to keep it neat. Go like that. That looks good. Very pretty. You know, some people actually serve limoncello in a glass like this too. Yeah, I've you had, yes, yes, I have had limoncello so in So it's kind like of this. like. Yeah, it relates. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more of this. It looks so cute, I love it. It makes you feel, I'm sure, very proud once you complete these things, right? Well, you know, it gives me satisfaction to know that I did it. I came up with the idea, I made it, and then like someone else enjoys it. Right. That's the biggest gift. That's what I'm proud of. That when somebody. I can make, I touch somebody on a level that's like intimate. Yeah. Food is. Food is know? very intimate, absolutely. Yeah. And then just make it look pretty. It looks beautiful. Cream. And that's like, have you ever like tasted the lime rind? I'm sure you have. I have, it's yeah. It's just like a burst of freshness, like wow. But that just looks really good. I love it. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you for having me, it's fantastic. Oh, you're welcome. You know, I'll get a tray just so you can Okay, special. yes, please. <laughs>
good, right? So good. It's a little sweet. It's sweet, but it's very smooth, and it's not over the top. And, and it, you don't have like an aftertaste. This is great. Tastes like red velvet, mm -hmm. but really. Like that chocolatey mm -hmm. vanilla flavor. Very good. So now I would like for us to yes. taste, if you don't mind, get it, um, what we prepared. Spoon. Have you ever eaten the actual mint whole leaf? Oh yeah, I just put a piece in my mouth before. I've never done that. And chew on it. Boy, I used to do this it as is a big kid. deal. Pick it out of the garden really? and just eat it. Yeah. Should I do that before or after I taste this? It doesn't matter. After all the garlic and all that, it's good because it'll help your breath too. Huh. <laughs> Thanks. <Golly. laughs> no, I don't mean it. <laughs> is, are you saying are you trying to imply something? <laughs> No, I know. Yeah, you're kind of kidding. All right, I'll eat this big one. Really oh, no, I'm really kidding. <laughs> All right, there you go. All right. Let's wow, it's minty. That whole big yeah, leaf. Yeah, it was right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. Pretty good, yep. right? So good. You know, all these other flavors going on, and you know the, the cheese and the gorgonzola, and there's strong flavors of Taleggio. Afterwards, it gives a nice brightness and finishes off the meal. Great way to finish mm -hmm. a lot of meals. I could finish off a lot of meals with mm -hmm. this. So you can feel free to send this to me in a big box okay. at any time you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I enjoyed it, thank you. Yum, I didn't have any problem. Yeah. Good. Mm. Good.